Yeah, what I want to talk to you guys about is a, philo <coughs> is a philosophical question that has been around for thousands of years. Why is life so hard? Why is it so painful? If this is our life we're living in in this planet, and we cannot... <coughs> this is our life we're living on this planet. We were given a privilege of existing, and... We don't know what's going to happen to us after our die. Why is this short life we live, the only thing we can at least prove is the only time you're going to be alive, so hard? And you want to know why, the reason why life is so hard. It has nothing to do with the system of karma and all of these other ideas people have. Plain and simple, the reason why life is so hard is ignorance, Okay? is ignorance, okay? Because you have to realize something about <coughs> about the world is that this world is a very ignorant place. Um is a very ignorant place. People support candidates who uh who let's just say who let's just say uh do not have the country's best interest who I mean who just do not have the country's best interest and you have a demographic <coughs> of people who support people who 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 honestly do not <coughs> who honestly do not have the best interest basically they follow they follow what what everybody else thinks they follow the pack even though this might have been from the same party the same party, or, or historically, it might have been <coughs> from the same group of people who haven't treated the people well. <coughs> They'll still support them for for whatever reason, you know. And and that's a pro and that's the reason why life is so hard is that it's hard because people, when it comes to putting people in positions of power, I'll just refer to this time period, uh, really, is that they put poor quality people in positions of power. They don't even take time to look at alternative programs. As a result, uh, there's a lot of things, <coughs> there's a lot of repercussions for that. Everything from education and infrastructure uh, poor, poor, um, poor planning for projects due to lack of education, because the education system, as we all know, is, is just really terrible, man, like you, like you open up a booklet and you read it, like, <coughs> like probably about, like, one in five words is misspelled, and these are supposed to be experts, okay, they don't teach people, <coughs> they don't seem to teach the, the kids, uh, more effective techniques in learning, you know, such as how to concentrate better, such as how to concentrate better, um, how to be able to spell better, and, uh, you know, and just in general, it's just bad, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of them just don't have much patience, you know, because a lot of those teachers, uh, you know, uh, you know, a lot of it is just bad planning and as a result it has a <coughs> it has a negative effect on society you know because you have a lot of people who who uh who they give them a, a, a lot of a ridiculous amount of work for tests for tests and all that sort of stuff the, you know just in you know and these I'm just going to name a few here you know they have uh people you know they give them a lot of tests, and as a result, because they have a lot of tests, they are under a lot of stress. So, you know, society, you know, they're under a lot of stress to succeed. <coughs> they're under a lot of stress to succeed. Society doesn't really seem to understand uh, <coughs> exactly. Uh, they don't seem to understand. They put too high standards on people to live by, like, uh, some people might say, you know, every, oh, you're supposed to go to the gym, 
you were supposed to go to the gym every single day instead of just riding your bike. Um, you're always supposed to be helping out. And of course, these things are things you're supposed to do, but just in general, they put a ridiculous amount of pressure on people. And as a result, people cannot really have that great of a day, you know? Because <clears throat> honestly, that's the truth about society is that society puts too much pressure on people. <clears throat> and a lot of it is just caused by ignorance, you know? It's just two of those factors together. Um, it's just two of those factors together. And due to the poor education system, you have people who can barely read, who <clears throat> who do who go for car tests, who who go uh, drive, and when they drive, they you know they ruin your day because they cut you off. Um, you have a lot of people. <clears throat> in this world who are not who are not trained at a young age properly how to socialize properly how to socialize um with other <coughs> with their other peer groups they're not taught effective techniques and a lot of it i think is due to the fact <coughs> you know a lot of, you know they're not taught proper techniques on how to control their emotions on how to keep their emotions intact uh, <coughs> so they don't ruin so they don't live a miserable life and ruin somebody else's life. Uh, ruin somebody else's life. Um, <clears throat> they vote, you know, they vote in politicians who steal people's money. They steal taxpayers' money, and a lot of that money could have gone to better quality projects, better quality projects, um, better better quality projects. You could have invested a lot of that money. You just spend on on a shirt that you know, and they'll say, "Well, it's Italian leather," and I'm like, "Bro, it looks like just it looks exactly like uh, a suit, you know, like my <coughs> like someone in your family would wear to a wedding." There's nothing that looks special about it, <coughs> and they just use up a lot of the money. And the reason why is because the public in general, a lot of them are just ignorant because of the poor education system. You know, a lot of them, they they do not crit criticize the government. Everything from peer pressure, people might say, you know, people might start making fun of them for that. You know, the, you know, some people might say they're a terrorist or I think you're a communist, which in itself also is related to people just being ignorant and not being open-minded because honestly man it doesn't matter if you have an education if you don't have an open mind nothing's gonna happen and it won't teach people to be open-minded <coughs> in places you know uh, they don't teach people to be open-minded in places so as a result uh, so as a result you know it, it just has a negative effect on on society society is you know society uh, people don't understand that life and feeling extremely happy is something that is nor <coughs> that should be normal okay like look at look at how great our civilization is look at how look at how much technology we have how thi how easy things are life should be life should be blissful you know, life should be, well, of course not <coughs> completely blissful, but people should be a lot happier than they are. Because when you really look at it, everything in this world of why people don't feel happy, like you ever had that happy day, you ever had a, a really good day, and you were going around, you smile, and you said hi to somebody, you know, and somebody told you, somebody might have told you to F off. You see what I was saying? That's an example of having poor emotional control and, and the system does not teach us that okay the the system as a whole the slightest moment anybody <coughs> has shows a bit of signs of autism i mean shows a bit of signs of being antisocial. they don't do anything you know they don't you, you know because like i said before before the system is just bad like you'd assume in kindergarten they would at least let kids sit down and give them a topic to read or, or they'll read it to them so people could at least 
learn to form connections with people and they don't deal with the bad people who give who make you lose faith in humanity in class you know because that's a problem with people is it's is like i said the example i gave is an example of people not knowing how to control their emotions when they feel really happy because everybody when it feels really happy has to show the world it and also not being able to deal you know not being able to deal with it and this is just i think this is probably just going to be part one you know um uh, and so the result is you have a mediocre life with lots of issues um lots of issues and a lot of political <coughs> issues a lot of issues that are resulted of people just not doing a good job and that's my video and thanks for watching and like and subscribe